that you get to have a little special tour today of the high school and the intermediate school and get to see what next year might look like in some of the spaces. So on the first day of school, when you come back to us, you're gonna come through the main doors and that's how you'll get about our building on that first day. But we will direct you to go in and out of door four, uh, which we'll show you in a little bit. And that's where you will enter the building and exit the building each day. The office, the fourth through eighth grade office actually is around the corner, so follow me. is the wing that you'll be in and where most of your learning happens but if you go all the way down to the end that's where Miss Kristen sits and she is just like Miss Kylie and Miss Audrey and helps you with everything that you need. On our way there we pass the nurse's office and so it's in that main hallway on the way to the office that you'll find our nurse Patty. If you come late to school or you need to leave school early, checking in at our intermediate school office is what you need to do. And as you walk through these doors, you'll see my office is in here as well as Miss Kristen. So come on in and Miss Kristen is here to help you. Hello, looking forward to seeing you next fall. This is where you enter our building every day. So you'll get off your off of the bus or have a parent drop you off. You'll come in through door four and every day you leave through door four. So if parents are picking you up or you're riding the bus, this is how you enter and exit our building each morning and afternoon. As you enter into our building through door four, you come around and fourth grade classrooms are all in one line. So you come in and you take a left and all the fourth grade classrooms go all the way down here toward the office. Uh, we have, and your fourth grade teachers are the same this year, uh, Mrs. Johnsrud, Mrs. Falk, Mr. Thorfinson, and Mr. Hoffman. Here are our lockers, and you have probably heard a little bit about lockers, and maybe they scare you a little bit when you get out to the intermediate, but a couple things that you need to know. One, you have some homework over the summer. Your job is to work with your parent to find a lock and work on how you open a lock. Now, it's really important for you to know there's a couple things. All of our teachers are here to help you. If you can't get your locker open, we're more than willing to help you and you won't be late for class or get in trouble. So don't worry about it. We are totally here to help you, especially those first few weeks when you're learning how to do a combination and how to open it up. The other really different thing is that you aren't by your class per se, but you're in a whole line by your last name in alphabetical order. So even though you might be in Mr. Hoffman's room, your locker might be right here outside of Mrs. John's room's room. And so we will work with you again on how to open that and where it's at and what it all looks like. Can't wait to see you here. We're still in the fourth grade hallway and we're on our way to the bathroom. So we're gonna come right through here um, you can see the bathroom is on your right. Here is the boys' bathroom and the girls' bathroom that our students in the intermediate use every day. There is a uh, water fountain where you can fill up your water bottle as well. Another spot that you'll use often is the media center. And so like our school library at the elementary, the media center is where you'll check out books and you'll have some uh, time to jump in and meet our, uh, see what our media center is all about, meet the person that helps and supports you there and uh, check out some really great reads. You guessed it, we're in the big gym. So this might be a space that you've probably been to before, certainly with Veterans Day programs and uh, some of the other events that we have out here. This space really as a fourth grader, you get to come into to see uh, large events um, like the Veterans Day piece or all of our Operation Laker Pride stuff is out and we're going to pack those bags yet this year and send them with uh, Mr. Rankin and his group, but this space is really not a space that we're in a whole lot. Your gym space we'll get to in just a little bit. Getting hungry by now, it's time to find the cafeteria. We're headed down from the main gym space, around the corner, and down the hallway to the cafeteria.
On our way to the cafeteria, there's some locker rooms and some bathrooms that are really reserved for our senior high. So as fourth graders, those aren't spaces we traditionally enter. Inside our cafeteria, it looks really different right now. Certainly, we're making meals for kids that um, are picking it up or that are having it delivered, but our cafeteria is really usually full of all kinds of tables and uh, full of kids, which is what we love to see. There's also an a la carte over here that you can come to. Parents, if you're watching, students can choose to have a la carte or you can turn it off as well. It provides a, some additional snacks for kids if you would like. There are a few lunch lines over here. You can go in uh, number one and number two, typically have um, our main entree. There's also where you can see Baycrest on a paddle over there. That's typically where a taco or sandwich bar is. Um, and then there's always a veggie bar in the middle, similar to what we have at the elementary. You have a dish return in the back, and that's where we um, do all of our recycling like we do at the elementary and then put our, our dishes in. So it's labeled really well and we're here to help you and help you figure out where it is that you want to go and how to maneuver through the cafeteria. to the playground and also how to get to the small gym and the music room is this way as well. This is where our small gym is and this is where the majority of your Fayette classes will take place. Uh, so you will have Mr. Gustafson is the Fayette teacher for fourth through sixth grade and this is his main space that he's in when he's in school. Certainly we get to use the football field and some of the other uh, sports facilities outside every once in a while but this is where you spend the majority of your time. Okay, so we just left the small gym area and the cafeteria hallway and we're turning the corner. Some of you know these are the music rooms. We'll get back to those in just a minute. But we think one of the cool spaces you get to go to every day is the playground area where there's all kinds of things you can do outside and have fun. So we're coming through the music space. If you know, this is a district office down at the end in the auditorium, but we're gonna turn first. We're gonna take a right. We're gonna go all the way outside kind of through a hallway that you maybe don't know much about if you've been in our building. We're on the other side of the auditorium, headed out. You round out the corner. she does with our fourth graders each day. Here's a place you've already been. It's our auditorium. Most of you have been here for concerts and performances and all that. Uh, we use our auditorium in fourth grade the exact same ways that we did in third grade. So you'll come in every once in a while as a fourth, fifth, and sixth grade will come in together, but mainly it's used for concerts and your uh, teachers will let you know when it's time to go in there. Right, we're outside our pool, and I know that this is one of the most exciting things about coming to fourth grade is there is a pool in the school. Uh, it's not a space that we use every day, and we get to use it every once in a while to celebrate um, sometimes AR accomplishments or some of our reading awards happen that you get to go in the pool and maybe do some celebrating. But really, it's a space that we use uh, after school and through community ed for swimming lessons and things that you, some of you have already done before. You can come in and take a peek. You 
you can tell nobody's been in it for a while. There's some boxes and other things happening and the pool cover is currently on. So just like in third grade, you have art with Mr. Draxton one time a week, uh, but he has a different space and it's an art room that has always been an art room here. So there's lots of things in these art rooms that have been here for a long time and lots of supplies. And you can see sometimes our art rooms are a little extra messy, maybe like how it is currently. We share this space with our high school, and so there's sometimes some high school art in here or some projects, uh, but this is one of the art rooms that Mr. Draxton uses. As you walk out a door four at the end of your day, this is where you'll either be picked up or you'll get on a bus. If you go this way, all where all those cars are is the bus loading zone. So that's where there'll be full of buses and you'll jump on. Now off to our entrance here, this is where parents park to pick you up. So as that car pulls in, uh, there will be cars there at the end of each day and that's where you'll go when you say goodbye to us and get in a car of somebody picking you up. Lakers, we hope you've enjoyed our tour. We are so excited to have you out here next year. Uh, a little change for me, I won't be at the elementary anymore. I'll just be out here with you every day. So if you need anything or you wonder anything, we're here to help you and we can't wait for you to join us at the intermediate. Have a great summer and we'll see you soon.